<laughs> That's what you thought, didn't you? I did. <laughs> this thing is a legendary deer. Yeah, we found a coyote laying back in the pines, so that's not good. This is a tough search. Look at this dude, I'm not kidding. When we said we got a truckload of energy drink, we gotta get this unloaded. We had a call, um, a hunter, he has a hit buck. The buck has a big wound on his side. Coyotes were trying to eat him this morning on his camera. He feels like the coyotes are killing him. So we're gonna try to locate him, see if he's dead. We gotta get this unloaded and then we're on the road. He's waiting on us, it's an hour and a half away. Camera guy, Kevin needs long johns. So either we're stopping to get long johns on the way or holy where are we gonna put all this We gotta get you long johns. Yeah, so we'll get you a pair of long johns here. Some new or used ones. What's that? New or used. Oh, definitely used. You'll be okay. They've been washed. Here you go. Locked and loaded. Oh, there's the dog. The face was like, oh, camera, get out of here. Hit on the piper. What are you doing? This guy has a hit buck. The other day, his big deer showed up on camera with a big wound on the side with pus and blood coming out. And he was hoping that he'll be able to pull through. Well, this morning he had the same buck show up on camera with coyotes in the same picture. Uh, the coyotes were like hunting him down, wanting to kill him. So, He's worried that he just won't make it. I think he thinks that he died and the coyotes are on him. He wants to put some type of effort in and uh, you know locate this big buck because the, the buck needs respect. It, he, he's this big, there's no need to let the coyotes just eat him and poop him out. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Got a little over dramatic there. Anyhow, you know, but I am being serious. Like, you know, he's a legend. Why, why leave him out in the woods if you know he's dead? Go recover him, give him some respect, and hang up his antlers. So that's what he wants to do. He wants to try to find him. So it's cloudy right now. Overcast is great for searching conditions. It's cold out. We got 30 degrees right now. We're in a hurry because it's so the overcast is supposed to break up and get sunny. If it gets sunny. It just messes up the thermals and that's no good. I gotta get gas, doggone it. What it's, are you guys doing out there? <laughs> check out YouTube, drone deer recovery. It's a thing. Thank you. We're kinda in a hurry. A hunter needs his deer found. They need it now. <laughs> Here we go. Buck so big it shouldn't be pooped out, but at some point it will be pooped out either by humans or uh, well, not the head, dogs. Though. What? Not the head. What do you mean? Oh, not the antlers. Or the head, the neck. I mean. Oh, you definitely eat the neck. Well, not if it's mounted. Yeah, you do. You don't eat the you don't eat the neck if the neck is mounted from the chest up. Dude, are you uh, kidding? What are you saying? No, no. Are you <laughs> wait? Let's back this up. Do you seriously think? when you see a deer mount, that that's the actual neck of the, the deer? I mean, that's what I thought. Oh my, you gotta turn that camera around right now. <sighs> so, okay. okay, so when you mount a deer, yeah. it's skinned. You, It's yeah. only skinned. Skin yeah. Every, oh, that actually sounds kind of logical. Yeah, and then that skin gets put onto a, uh, like a mannequin. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's it is. It's just like plastic. Yeah, you know. Well, yeah. I, I knew that. That makes a lot of sense. 
No, wait. You just said that, well, you can't eat the neck of a deer. Yeah, you can. You thought you couldn't eat the neck because the neck is part of the mount. <laughs> I don't know what he's Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you definitely. That, you did, that's what you thought, didn't you? I did. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good one! <clears throat>。We got blue skies over here, dark over here, snow coming down every now and then. Makes me nervous because driving this far and it not working would be a real letdown. Let me tell you. Okay, so now we're getting into overcast. When we make a left or right turn, things change just like that. So that's good. And we're going harder left now, so that's even better. We're going into the dark stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Ingredients. Carbonated water. Earthatone. Oh, so it's earthatone, not exylatone. Earthatone. This is probably something that's not good. Citric acid. It's preservative, not bad. M MZ modified stevia extract. Potassium benzyl gogurda. I'll just stop there. Those words I can't read because I went to eighth grade as an Amish Amish school. Educated. Pilot. Dedicated. Let me tell you. I was not a good reader, but when it got time to、uh, get my license, I was focused and I got it done. So I don't want to hear it. Wherever you come from, if you put your mind to it, and you are convinced, nobody can stop you. What a motivational speech by Mike Yoder. Did you like it, Kevin? I did. Yeah. Thumbs up. Eight out of ten. Oh, what do I need to? Let me tell you, folks. If you're dedicated enough, and you put your mind to it, you can do anything you want. That's coming from an ex-Amish, eighth-grade, eighth-grade educated boy that couldn't really hardly read. People made fun of, and I went hard, and I got my pilot's license. Now who are they looking at? I'm flying over top of them, huh? How you like that? So put your mind to it and do what you want to do. Nobody can stop you. What was that? That's good. That's that's nine and a half out of ten. Oh my gosh! <laughs> When I tell them I grew up Amish, and you guys are watching, and you've never even heard of that, what is an Amish person? Well, an Amish person in America is a got is a is a community that grew up with no cars, no electric in the house. Way back in the day, you had to go poop outside in an outhouse. So. You know, it, they tried to stay away from the modern amenities, and we'd only go to eighth grade school. We would,、uh, yeah, if we wanted to go somewhere back before they got modernized. Now they have the e-bikes now, but back in the day, we took horse and buggy anywhere we wanted to go. That's pretty much it. There was this one kid that always picked on us in school because we brought a pony to school. A pony in a cart is how we went to school. Well, in the winter time, the There's a lot of hair, and the pony would were driving, and we'd have hair on us. We'd try to get it off, but it's just stuff like that. He'd always nitpick and then say we stink. And when we drive home from school and we pass him, they, he'd always have something to say, and he always did something. And one time I was like, you know what? Like when we pass him, I can't see what he's doing because he might come up behind us. I bought this little ladybug-looking thing. It looked like a ladybug, but you opened the ladybug's wings, and it was a mirror. So what I did is, on the way home, I would take this ladybug and open its wings, and then I could watch that mirror to see if he's coming up behind me. How weird is that? Ooh, I seen the sun there for a little bit, but it's still snowing, so that's good. How's it going? We got neighbors that are probably gonna be. If they see the video on YouTube,、uh -huh. they're gonna know who Bob Cross is. Okay. And you don't want them to know that you got him. So we're we're gonna protect everybody's identity here. We're we're gonna blur faces and voices. So it's trust me on this caliber of deer, you you need to do this at times.
the coyotes who were after him because of that injury, right? I saw him yesterday and he almost couldn't walk anymore. He couldn't walk anymore? Oh, he just three on three legs and just, you know, he was, Oh, no. Yeah. He was hurt. We got to find this thing. Yeah. Last year, what he did is uh, use that same pattern. It came in from the back. That's why I had the camera set up, uh, the camera set up where I had. And then he was he was uh, starting to use that pattern again this week. And I figured Saturday morning, yeah. I'm going to try and get him. From I went everything off last year. And that's why I got pictures of him. And if he continued to, to have the same route as he had last year, he's definitely up on, on my property. You think he's on the land. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be going that way. Yeah. This thing is a legendary deer. His antlers are big enough that he should get some respect. That's what I was saying. <laughs> they have a big buck that's probably been killed by coyotes and they're trying to give it the respect it deserves and they're wanting to find it and not let the coyotes eat the whole thing. There's a doe. Yep. Another doe. Okay, searching conditions, Mike. Yeah, it's all right right now. But searching through pines can be a challenge. Faux show. If we find coyotes, then that's probably where he'll be. Isn't that a deer? Yeah, it's just a doe. You see how I gotta get the angles for the, yeah. the pine trees? There's a lot of snow back there. So, <clears throat> about 15 minutes into the search, these hunters have had issues with neighbors coming over, poaching on their land, or just trespassing on their land. Um, you know, riling up the deer. Um, it's been issue after issue with them, so um, they're trying to avoid problems. They've asked us to blur their faces. They don't want to be recognized. Uh, apparently, people down here are avid watchers of drone deer recovery. Yeah, they really want to find this buck. They want to, you know, get to him before the coyotes do. They have photos of, the, you know, the coyotes circling the deer. The deer can barely walk. He's limping on three legs. So now it's just kind of racing the weather here to see, uh, you know, if we're able to find this deer. There's a lot of big pine, which make it really hard. You have to cover the same ground numerous times just to get different angles and to uh, make sure that uh, you know you have the right coverage for it. So we'll see. We'll see if they're able to find it. Sun coyote. There's some coyote down there. Maybe they just sleep in there. Have you ever seen them in there before? Not like that, no. Okay, so he's there waiting on something. Yeah, we found a coyote laying back in the pines, so that's not good. It means uh, might be a dead deer back there. I don't like that we found a coyote back there. Yeah, he's laying in the pines, so we gotta we gotta look hard through those pines to find this deer. So that coyote's laying right under those, that pine bush. Re remember, we looked at this bed right there. That coyote is laying right over here in the pines. Uh, do you want me to look? Because this stuff will be easy to look through. Go, go down the yeah. valley. I'm gonna have to come back and get a battery here soon. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll, we'll find it. It's just gonna take some time if he's in there. I'm bringing it back. Yeah, we're uh, we're gonna move because we're just we're looking on the other side of that ridge over there, but the remote's trying to transfer you know signal through these high tension power lines, and I'm getting the interference. We're finding deer. We found that coyote over there. Not good. I don't you know I feel 
I feel bad because this is a big buck and he shouldn't be getting eaten by coyotes. So we're gonna keep trying to locate, locate the deer. I just gotta get better signal. The coyote shouldn't be laying there. They, they should not be just laying out in uh, in the daylight uh, in open pines like that. So has he had a full meal and is he relaxing or is he just waiting? He might be waiting. He might be stuffed full. You know, he might be guarding his kill. Let's go move. How's it going? I'm Mike with Drone Day Recovery. Today we're doing an expo here in Ohio. basically bringing more recognition to the brand, to hunters and operators across the nation to do drone deer recovery. I made right around 50,000 in 10 weeks. That's what I want you to be able to do is come join the team and we'll send you guys leads to try to keep you busy, make you money, and basically be able to support you. It's going to be even bigger than what we can handle all the leads that we've gotten. We need to have operators to be able to supply and demand. We actually just had uh, our newest pilot come to the team here, just literally passed his license. With the program, we're going to bring you guys in. We're gonna do hands-on training that we're also gonna have a support team. If you guys have technical questions, you'll be able to reach out to us and we can help you with whatever it is that you need help with. You'll get a badge for Drone Deer Recovery Certified Operator. That way you can uh, do your own marketing as well if you feel like you need to do that. Freezing cold hands. I'm just, I'm just over here thinking, thinking, thinking things, and now it's burning. Ow! Ugh. You know when your hands are so cold that you can't really feel them, but then they start unthawing. Yep. Ooh. It feels like you smashed them. Sun is out. Don't like it. Don't like it. See those? I was looking in those pines. Right there's the high tension power line. I think that's why I was doing that. <sighs> I'm nervous that this sun is out because this sun is gonna screw us over on thermals. Whole herd of doves. Yeah, I finish. This is that corner you were thinking he's in. He's not, not in here. I'm confident in saying that. Unless they like ate, ate everything. There's no heat, but. It's got to be no. Can't see no antlers. Yep, there it yep. is. Man, that took a lot. Oh, I looked at that one other time. Not having any luck so far. That is for show. Sure. This is a tough search. Tough Covered search. Covered a lot of the terrain yet, or? Yeah, a lot of the the pines where they initially thought he might be. He, I can I can promise you. Like this is how confident I am in in the technology that the buck is not in the pines right now. Not where you thought he was. But the coyotes are there because they, they like the cover. I think he's just on the outside edge somewhere. We've been going for like two hours, sunset, and we got shadows, it looks good. The buck's not in the pines, I can guarantee you that. Now we're gonna start searching the hardwood. I think he's alive, that's me. Um, and the reason he's alive is because the coyotes couldn't take him down. Like he's still, I know he's hurting, but they can't take that big buck down. But that's why they're hanging out, waiting on him to die instead of them trying to kill him. 
that's how I, how I feel about it. But Do you think the coyotes are close? Like I think they're they're somewhat close to wherever this deer's at. Here's some deer. This is kind of where I was thinking he would keep himself. There he is. Yep, there he is. There he is. Uh -uh. There he is. We found him. Boom. He's still alive, but he's dying right mm -hmm. now. Yep. I see. This is what I told you that he'd do. He he moved just outside. Yeah. See see those coyotes are waiting just off the edge for him to die. I knew I'd find him. He's That's gonna, how convinced I am on this technology. He's gonna die right there. Yeah, he's gonna die. Yep. He's still up. He but he can't barely get up anymore. Like he's not standing. He probably won't get up. Yeah. He he will not get up. He's going to die right there. But that is some thick stuff he's in. Oh my gosh, look how white that sucker is. That is that that is a 200 inch deer. It's sad. Those coyotes are just waiting for him to die. That is a huge buck. You see how wide he is? It looks like somebody shot him in the shoulder. See that? I think somebody shot him in the shoulder. You think so? Yep, and it went the other side and he started with infection on the other side, that's why you see that. He's struggling, you see how much of the dirt yeah. he's like kicked up. If the coyotes are in there right now, they're in there because they're wanting to get away. They have to wait till this buck dies because they can't attack him. If that is not the saddest thing I've ever seen, a, a buck of that caliper. I had a, a, a long liver shot deer, had his head on the ground, on the ground, like flat down, like dying and coyotes got him out of his bed and chased him. Have no idea where they took him. Couldn't find him back. He's gonna lose his antlers. If he doesn't die right away, uh, you know, die within the next day, his antlers will fall off. We spent two hours almost looking in the pines. Um, let's, yeah, we'll go down to the hill. Then we got another one that we gotta go get. Uh, it's actually, I helped my cousin locate a buck that he hit in the shoulder and I guess he was able to get an arrow in him tonight. He's seen him go across the hill. He feels it's a good shot, but he wants the drone to come in and make sure that he's done so he doesn't bump him out again. It happened to him one other time. He's just not taking any chances. So we're gonna go down, get this one wrapped up, and then we're headed to the next one.